House of Last Things in 2013. Here's the storyline. A mind-bending thriller set in Portland, Oregon about an unspoken tragedy and its effects on a house. Its temporary caretakers and the owners, a classical music critic and his wife, trip to Italy. Directed by Michael Bartlett. Written by Michael Bartlett. Released October 10th, 2013. Tagline, pick up the key, unlock the past. Here's the cast. Lindsay Hawn as Kelly. Blake Barris as Jesse. R.J. Mitt as Tim. Randy Schulman as Alan. Diane Dalton as Sarah. Mika Nelson as Adam. Michelle Marinera as Rose. Maureen Littrell as Realtor. And the cast goes on. Here's a film that, uh, it's a fantasy thriller. I don't quite know where the fantasy comes from. It's more like a psychological thriller that makes your brain uh, go into a coma. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. These are the films that um, frustrate me because I don't want to be watching a film trying to be Albert Einstein and trying to figure it out. Of course, I figured it out, but... You know, a film is meant to watch, enjoy, not to, you know, um, be a homework project. That's just my opinion. Basically, you have a woman who is babysitting the house, you know, caretaker, however... And the husband and wife had a tragedy. He's a writer. And they go on the trip to Italy. Now, there's so many things going on here that you really have to pay attention. There's a boy named Adam that was brought to the house. Well, there's a story with Adam. Eventually, you start catching on what it's about. It's a ghost, per se. The story unravels. The Jesse starts changing, uh, personality-wise, and then it shows what happens to the parents in Italy. And then you realize what's going on. Now, again, you really have to be patient with this film. If you're not a fan of slow-paced, if you're not a fan of trying to be Albert Einstein or to watch a film, if you want to just pop a film in and have fun with it, you don't want to watch this one. I mean, you have to be a fan of, of psychological thrillers with a pace of a snail. That being said, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's interesting. It's well shot. It's great acting. It's an interesting story. But again, um, it's not my cup of tea. And I'm not saying it's bad. It's just my opinion. I mean, it's worth a watch if you can t- handle slow paced if you can handle you know the psychological part to where your brain starts swelling trying to figure out at first what the hell's going on but if you're not if you can handle that then uh, you know you can watch this so there you go house of last things in 2013 my brain is still swollen from it enough said this is gruesome herzog I give this film a 4 out of 10, below average for me. I mean, that's just because I'm not a fan of slow-paced. I'm not a fan of uh, a film that you have to sit and, and pay real close attention or you miss something. Not that it did, but I'm just saying. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.